Rubber Mixing Mill. A practical video. We have already understood the construction of a two-roll mixing mill in the previous video. In this video we will learn the working process of a rubber mill. Let's understand about the main parts of a rubber mixing mill. First step in mixing mill operation is to load the mixed rubber compound from an internal mixer or a banberry mixer. The compound can be fed through an automated feeder or manually, depending on the quantity of compound and availability. The rubber material feeding to the rubber mill can be done from both sides of the mill, but in case rubber material feeder mechanism is not available in the rubber mill then the material is fed from front side only. Now the rubber is rotated on the rollers between front and rear roll to make a homogeneous rubber sheet. Initially, the operator has to pick the rubber lumps dropped into the mill pan, to put again in between the rollers. Later on, the compound forms a sheet which kept on rolling on the roller on its own. It is important to keep the rubber compound quantity intact as fed initially, since all the ingredients to be mixed are weighed as per that quantity of rubber compound only. Any loss in rubber compound during mixing, may result in wrong ratio of curing agent and thus, the compound may get rejected. The operator adjusts the nip gap at different stages of mixing to get proper and well dispersed rubber compound. Initially, it is set to be on higher side. As and when compound become more homogeneous, the nip gap is reduced. The operator should take help of supervisor to decide the correct nip gap. Ideally, the compound should roll on to front roll. If it gets rolled on to rear roll, the operator has to remove the compound from rear roll and put on front roll. Once the rubber becomes a homogeneous sheet, we add other ingredients to make rubber compound, such as, sulfur and other curing agent. All the ingredients are already weighed and kept ready for mixing before starting the mill operation. Rubber and other ingredients are rolled together many times. The rubber sheets are cut, rolled and pushed between the roller gaps to ensure proper dispersion of the chemicals.
As mentioned earlier, any loose material dropped in the mill pan should be fed to the roller to mix with the compound lot. The job of rubber mill operator is of great patience. Any hurry in completing the rubber mixing may result in compound rejection. Always wear a protective gloves during rubber mill operations. They will help in keeping you safe from any sharp object such as, knife, used for sheet cutting during mill operations. They will also protect your hands from chemicals which may be harmful for your hands. Always maintain a safe distance from rollers and belly bar. Even if you press belly bar accidentally, it will stop the machine. Always keep your hands on a safe distance from roller nip. As soon as the mixing completes, the sheets are cut in specified sizes, identified and then dipped in anti-tack chemical solution to ensure that the rubber sheet does not get stick with other sheets surface. After completing the cooling process the rubber compound sheets are dried in cool air. Later on, the rubber compound sheets are marked with their identification and production batch details, the finished quality approved compound is then moved to designated stores area. A rubber mill operator needs to create a production report, which should has target, actual produced quantity, and delays in production with reason.